this contraption for tightening the center lock. Center locks needing specific equipment that this will torque them to exactly what it needs without damaging the spokes or anything. That is much easier than you could do it at home. Let's put it that way. Hey guys, Ted at Dundon Motorsports here. We're down at the shop with our brand new 992 GT3. And today we're showing you how our new high torque wheel gun works. All right, we're gonna unbox this high torque wheel gun. We'll show you what it comes with, then we'll do a little demonstration. Let's see what comes inside. All right, pretty simple. It's got a carrying case. Inside you get one battery, charger with the cord, and then obviously the uh, high torque gun, lithium ion. Um, you are gonna need your factory wheel, lock, uh, wheel lug tool. And then this is the lever arm that holds the wheel in place while the torquing and releasing happens. To assemble, pretty straightforward. Pop this bad boy out. We'll get the battery installed. And then from there, you install the lever arm on the splines and then the factory lug tool. It's a little bit loose, doesn't quite have a detent, so you wanna be careful and hold everything in place, but that's the completed assembly. To turn it on, Push the button on the back. It's crazy, it's like a computer. You can hear the gun boot up. This one is preset to the Porsche spec, 440 foot-pounds. We'll flip it, the switch on the bottom to tighten. And you can see right here, the torque spec that it is set to, 440 foot-pounds, 600 Newton meters for the center lock wheel. Okay, so here's the completed tool assembly. You can see the gun, it's on. You've got the lever arm and then the factory Porsche uh, wheel lock tool or wheel nut tool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this in. This uh, lever arm here is, this sleeve is Delrin, so it's not gonna damage the finish of your wheels. I'm just gonna be very gentle and slide this in. This, this lug is already loose. Got that pressed on there. I'm gonna hold it on. I'm gonna squeeze the button. I've already got it set to tighten to set the torque. I'm gonna squeeze the trigger button and then it just push any button to start the operation. And you just hold your finger down. It's gonna set against the wheel. You see that it already moved. We're tightening this down and it's pretty slow because it's not an impact gun. It's an electronic torque device. So it's very precise. As a result, it's just a little bit slower. So you just kind of sit here and hang out, watch it tighten up. And then once it reaches 440 foot pounds, it'll stop. Easy as that. Ta-da. All right, so there's that initial torque value. The proper torque sequence to actually complete the job if we were gonna leave this wheel on. Gonna reinstall the tool onto the car. We're actually gonna reverse the torque 60 degrees per Porsche spec. So we're gonna back that sucker off. And then back on, flip it, squeeze, push the button. Get that off there. And now the wheel is actually torqued to Porsche specifications. You could put the center cap on and go about your business. All right, I always learn the mantra, trust but verify. So we're gonna verify that the high torque gun does what it said it was gonna do. So I've got our big ass honking torque wrench here. We've got it set, 440 foot pounds. We'll give it a little check. Anthony, you ready? Got my trusty partner in the driver's seat holding that brake pedal. All right, make sure that's on there. Get all the way out here. There she is, 440 foot pounds. All right, guys, we've got our high torque lion gun. We've got our completed assembly here. We've got a torqued center lock nut. I'm gonna flip the switch here back here to loosen. So you see that it's on loosen. I'm gonna line it up carefully. You can kind of help it by getting this wheel rotated a little bit. I'm just gonna squeeze the trigger. I'm gonna push the button so the gun activates. And you can see it's already loosening our center lock nut. I like to loosen it where it's kind of released peak torque. Give it a turn or so, and then you can just undo the rest of it by hand. And that's it. 
Easy as pie.